Kapaa day 360, so I was, what was I working? Um, I was trying to examine the effectiveness of models, so um, the title, um, yeah, I've been testing out like two type of, type of models, like one has uh, more input and the other was more like, uh, like link titles uh, as input only. Uh, so longer versus short input and they produce different kind of uh, output and you know they they play it nicely like it's more like formatting stuff and you know the, the longer input produces more like um, like casual sentences casual output more like adventurous one witty one maybe uh, like I like it personally like I like it better uh, but I can see like some other people like it safer, like more like standard way, uh, unconventional way, uh, uh, not unconventional, conventional way to um, like give an intro prompt. And so I do like to give an option. Uh, so I do, I like, I want to test out how to, uh, <coughs> how to separate the model. Uh, so I'm, I'm retraining uh, with two kind of input uh, styles. Um, but it's good, it, it's looking better, like the longer input one can be potentially used for um, What do you call it? Potentially used for Like uh, paraphrasing or like, you know, sentence rephrase, sentence like idea generation um, <coughs> Or not? Uh, so that, that's that's another like pro pro I could I found that like I can use the, this like title prompt intro for other use case as well. Like if that prompt if the model is good, then it can work. Uh, what do you, like what I found is that with the model AI model, it's that's the way you think is not in the container like multiple instance model instance style but have like one primary you know useful models uh, that accommodate different kind of inputs so that you don't have to like, cost multiple models uh, up there in the cloud because that was I guess the limitation is because of the price tag like GPU hosting can be a lot more ex expensive so you do want to and then I guess like you you can easily accommodate different kind of uh, output slash predictions with one gigantic model uh, based on the input type of the input identifier so I still need to experiment some more on how to like, uh, produce better output based on different prompt with the same model I'm testing it out um, one, one way I'm testing out right now is to have duplicate in the data sets uh, that accommodate different type of prompt or uh, inputs in this, which is in this case uh, short and long ones. So there is duplicate and it has some, you know, data set overhead that like it gets bigger. But uh, hopefully, it can accommodate better for both cases. Anyway, so that is it. Uh, oh, another finding is I, I did a block size uh, of 512, 512 on GPT training, and that went. But that, that that quality was good, like as good as the regular. As, I, I believe the regular, the default input size is uh, 1,028 tokens, so it's about half. And uh, the input, my input is short. It's maybe usually like three, four hundred tokens, so it's good. I I I, I can like cut down the memory uh, intake, so it trains. You know, it can still train without crashing. On the on the TPU um, eight 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 CPU on it, uh, that one I'm running, it, it still works there, so that's good. So that is it. Um, yeah, it's getting there slowly, one step by step.